How are y'all doing today, my friends? Welcome back to the channel. And first, I got to apologize for the long wait in between videos. You know, I've really been focusing on live streaming recently, but I know what people want on this channel are the videos. The videos are really, uh, they're the most fun thing to make, and I think they're the thing that most people enjoy. So don't y'all worry, we're coming back at it full steam with these videos. And today, we're starting back with old Daniel Larson, because Daniel's been having a weird month. The past month with Daniel started with him being in New York, and now he's back in his stomach grounds of Denver, but in that time some weird things have been happening. Daniel's basically been getting chased around by people, which you're about to see in this video, getting in fights with people in like random coffee shops in the middle of Denver, which again, <laughs> you'll hilariously see later on in this video. It's been a really weird time for Daniel, but then again, isn't every day a really weird time for Daniel? Now, this video isn't meant to show you exactly what's been happening for the past month, like, in detail. We're just going to be looking at all these crazy instances of people either running up on Daniel or Daniel trying to fight different people in the streets. Just a, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here, and I'm pretty sure y'all are going to enjoy uh, us looking at this today. So, without further ado, let's get into it, and we're going to start with a video from a YouTuber named John Jam. Now, this video will be linked down in the description below. Go throw that guy a sub. So basically what you need to know about this video is that this guy and his friends traveled to New York to find Daniel Larson, and they pretty quickly did. Now they also go after that guy World of T-shirts in this same video, but we're not going to look at this one in today's video. If you do want to go see that, as I said, link in the description below. And, um... And yeah, you can see just when these guys go after Daniel, he knows it almost immediately. They're trying to be slick with it, but Daniel, Daniel Larson, if you've ever watched any clip of the guy, he's he's very paranoid, and he notices almost from the jump that there's something going on here. Now, granted, he's probably looked at every single person who passed him that day the same way, but for once, he finally has a reason to be justified in that paranoia. So, let's just get right into it. All right, let me know. Oh, we're staying till about 5.30. Oh, I Do another one. Do another one. Do another one. Possible. So from the beginning, you can see Daniel just hawking these guys from below them on the escalator, and it wouldn't be too long after this that they made their presence known to Daniel, and it wouldn't be too long after this that Daniel would be running through this, uh, at first I thought it was a mall, but I believe this is actually the, the World Trade Center. Once Daniel notices that there actually are people following him, he does what he always does in these situations, and which you'll see throughout the course of this video. He gets on the phone with someone who, even if it's like just a friend or a troll or maybe he's just faking the phone call altogether he always gets on the phone and tells people you know hey i'm on the phone with someone important don't be messing with me right now i'm pretty sure that's exactly what he's doing here he's just trying to do anything to kind of divert and not pay attention to these guys which is honestly just human nature. I can't tell you how many times I've seen someone I don't want to see and faked a phone call. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have done it before, too. <laughs> he doesn't like it. Do you know this guy? He's a very famous guy. 20 bucks, 20 bucks. No, I don't care. Buddy, come here, buddy. If you take one step yep. closer, nope. 
Don't fall. <laughs> Daniel just takes off once these guys start cornering him. And once again, it, it's Daniel Larson. He's already paranoid as it is. This was obviously what was going to happen. I can't imagine how worried, though, Daniel was when he turned around and saw these dudes chasing him. I, I didn't think they'd be, these guys would be willing to chase down Daniel in the middle of the World Trade Center. But, you know, that's that's what's happening here. Now, a part of me does genuinely wonder, you know, he knows these guys are trolls, it's obvious, you know, we know Daniel's a bit delusional, but he obviously knows these guys are clearly trolls, um, just there to kind of mess with them, but is there any thought in his mind that maybe he's like, oh shit, it's the paparazzi, like, I, I gotta get out of here, no pictures today, maybe, because you know in Daniel's mind he thinks he's like one of the most famous people on earth. Uh, which, once again, I hate to keep beating this point home, but you'll see that a lot throughout the course of this video. But yeah, Daniel just took off. These dudes took off after him. And soon enough, Daniel, he starts to get angry. I mean, already he can you can tell he seems pretty, pretty upset. But he takes that anger out on, like, some random machine here in the World Trade Center. And I gotta say... From the sound of this, uh, this, this punch Daniel throws at this thing, you, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy I'm not that random machine in the World Trade Center. Daniel gave it a pretty wicked hook. Go get some help. Go to the hospital. Yeah, I'm surprised that machine didn't like crack just a little bit. I mean, it's got to be it's got to be pretty strong and Daniel's probably not that strong, but still, I mean, he put all of his force into punching that machine. The people around him too when he punched it see like the pe they had no idea what was going on, just scared the shit out of him. And uh obviously you see at the end there Daniel's screaming at these uh these people telling him you put anything on social media, he'll sue the shit out of him. He also threatens to call the cops many times on them, which I 100% believe he did. He probably called the cops at least 10 or 20 times that, like, that moment alone. You can't even begin to think of how many times Daniel calls the cops on a daily basis. He rings them up all the time. But so that's just one instance of Daniel being followed by people and him freaking out in public. We still have a few more to look at, but one thing I wanted to look at next was uh, a random video that I kept seeing getting like put around. And it's, it's like three minutes long of Daniel running or jogging, and he's not really doing or saying much until the last few seconds. And in those last few seconds, Daniel says something that, you know, if you're someone who knows this guy, it's got to alarm you hearing him say this. So let's just go, let's go take a look at that video real quick. <laughs> I need to find a fucking gun. So I'm not 100% sure on what led up to this moment. I don't know if it was the people following him around at the World Trade Center or a completely different situation. I'd imagine it was something else, but it leads Daniel to sitting here saying that he needs to get a gun, which... No, 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 no. It, like I said, Daniel Larson with a firearm would be one of the worst days for anyone in his vicinity. If someone even looked at him cross... 
you best believe he would use that thing or at least consider using it to defend himself. Yeah, Daniel is someone who absolutely does not need a firearm and needs years and years of mental health help. So let's hope he receives the latter and we don't gotta ever see Daniel walking around fucking strapped up. That would be, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't be a good day. So the next videos I wanted to look at are Daniel, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna see the first one here of Daniel in New York. You can kind of tell by the colors of his shirts. Daniel with a red shirt is while he's still in New York. Daniel in a blue jacket is when he's in Colorado. But in both of these videos here, Daniel's doing the same thing. He's trying to give back. Now, <laughs> I don't know what the backstory is for this first video, but Daniel goes into a restaurant and he tries to give the owner a $20 bill to build trust with him and himself and the owner, I guess. Now, I don't know if he dined and dashed and this is just him trying to pay for his meal later on or if he's just trying to do a business thing here where he's like, hey, here's this 20, you know, maybe call me and let's talk about some business stuff. I don't know what Daniel's whole mindset was here, but if he did dine and dash and he's finally paying for his order, then good on you, Daniel. Hello, I need to give this 20 to Scott. You need to get that 20 to Scott? Yes. Scott's not in till, I believe, 11 a.m. today. You want me to hold on to it for you? Um, can I come back at 11? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. I will do that. Yeah, Thank you. Work. Now, I don't know if Daniel ever went back to that place. I, I assume he did. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. But he did have a pretty big smile on his face knowing that the owner wasn't there. Maybe he could pocket that 20. Um, the next video we're going to look at is Daniel kind of doing the same thing. He's back in Denver and he sees a street performer on the street and decides to tip him. <laughs> A really nice act from Daniel Larson here, which, you know, you'd see and you go, wow, maybe Daniel's doing better. He's trying to give back to some people, but no, no, because just like a few days later, he went back on his YouTube community post threatening people that he needed money right now, which, you know, if you needed it so badly, Daniel, why did you just give it away? Like I said, it was a very nice thing for you to do, but if you were going to need to come back and tell people that, you know, you were going to do some really drastic shit if they didn't help you pay your bills, why are you just giving money away? Way. It doesn't doesn't really make much sense, but you know what? I'd rather you do something kind with it than just use it to, you know, I don't fucking know, buy twenty dollars in AMC stock that you're never gonna see again. So yeah. Uh, after this, after this is where we start getting a little bit uh, a little bit rowdy again, because Daniel is doing something somewhere, just being himself. And again, a few guys run up on him and try messing with him. These guys, though, claim to be Daniel's new security, and Daniel isn't having it. Even though Daniel doesn't have any security to begin with, which he'll, you know, he'll claim all the time he does. But videos like this just show you that if he did have security, they would have gotten these guys out of here real quick. But it's just more of Daniel's delusional thoughts. Um, yeah, these dudes, these dudes press Daniel pretty hard to try to make him believe that they're his new, uh, his new security officers. But pretty quick, they crack, just start insulting Daniel and all that. So we're going to get into that now and show it. There's two fucking guys walking that go to a goddamn college, okay? I've asked you guys to fucking leave. We're contacting the police. It's illegal to follow somebody around and harass the living fuck out of them. John Summons is fake. Yes, he is. Send me, show, show me, show me the picture. Show us to the camera so everyone knows. John Summit, he sent us. That's so fake, dude. John, that's John Summit. Okay, oh, where? where John okay, Summit. what is your badge number? My badge number uh, for security. Zero one nine three six four five. I got you. Dude. What? Nine, what two, company? Six, three, what nine, company? Nine, I just told you, John Summit Incorporated. John Summit Incorporated. Okay, and and what's your badge number? Five two three seven eight RL nine one. Okay, and what's the website? Website johnsummit.com. Johnsummitsecurity.com. Did you call the call? The Here, hold on, let me call yeah, the call. Do you want to talk to John Summit? We're, we're, we're sending out police. All right, John Summit's here to save you, Daniel. 
If you could please put it on FaceTime, Dude, listen, that would be great. You because want FaceTime? yes, please. Well, I can't because he's an Android. I can't Android. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Listen though, this is John Summit. Say hi to John Summit. Uh, hello. This is Daniel. Can I ask why you are sending people to my location? Okay, my management and my record label is asking that you guys do, you guys oh, yeah. Holy shit, stop. Dude, I'm not going to lie, bro. You smell like shit. God, bro. Oh my okay. God. You We're asking that you guys bro. stop, okay? We, dude, my, dude, I was, I was, my management has called out the police. They're on their way. Holy shit, that's they will check. Bad. They will check to make sure that there is a website and that there is a legal contract that you guys there have. Is. You're the one who hired us, aren't you? You asked for security. That's why John Summit sent us. So yeah, two guys run up to Daniel claiming to be part of John Summit Incorporated Security or whatever, and Daniel's already not having it. You can hear him say, no, I'm already talking to my management, who's probably just another group of trolls. I don't even know why I'm saying probably, who 100% is just another group of trolls. And um, and Daniel, like I said, Daniel's not having it. He's like, let me talk to this guy. Let me see him on FaceTime. Let me see pictures of him. What are your badge numbers? He's very, uh, he's very thorough as Daniel, but it doesn't take long for these guys to crack. I mean, what? It's like a minute into the clip before that one dude is like, oh my god, you smell like shit, which, you know... <laughs> Uh, he's probably not wrong. We know Daniel doesn't bathe very often. We know Daniel has scabies. So, yeah, I do got to say I feel for these guys for having to be so close to Daniel. But at the same time, y you guys are the ones who found him. You know, you're the ones who came here to hunt. To, 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 you know, you're basically hunting Daniel. You're here to seek him out. And, uh, and yeah, I'm not, not surprised you guys have to deal with the smell now. But clearly, Daniel, like I said, he, even though people are coming up to him saying, hey, we'll be your security, we'll protect you, this is something Daniel's probably wondered for the longest time, is actual security, because he feels like he's a celebrity who needs protecting. You got two guys here willing to be your security guards, he should have just been like, well, great, I'm walking down there, come, come protect me. But no, nah, no, nah, Daniel, he's, he's too far gone, and clearly these dudes were just there to mess with him anyway, and he sees that. I think even if people do show up to help him anymore, he's just gonna look at it as, like, a troll. The only person who can probably show up and he'd think it's not a troll is that grace vanderwall girl but yeah yeah at this point we're gonna have to just see where this goes my bad, my bad, my bad. he's talking to you i can hear but i don't have a contract with him at all yeah, who made the contract with us yeah we, we have a contract we already got paid i got paid three thirty thousand dollars for this video. so send proof where, 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 where where's your proof from the contract? No, I can't right now. I don't have it on me. Okay. Oh, I don't have it, on me. It's it was a paper contract. It was a paper. photo of it? No, I didn't. If, I didn't. You got, if you guys literally got paid that much money? Yeah, it was 30 grand. 30 grand? John Summit's a rich these. man. Yeah, just, how do you think I, you got those? How do you think I got these? I just bought it with my money. 30 grand. Dude, that's like, that's so like a $30 pair of pants. It was $85, bro. 85 Okay, but I but know, still. I don't have any to lie. But I, still. I can go and hang out with my family, but I, I got paid thirty grand to help you. I was, what do you want me to do? Your team because is trying to turn the media against you, Daniel. John Summit knows inside info. Listen to him. Listen to him, Daniel. John Summit, he's the one who sent us here. here tell, tell him, tell him, John. He's been paying us a lot of money to do this. I listen. I went to New York City, and I went to Sony music entertainment i went to their office i have a contract with them they're asking that you guys step down we are also aware of the trolls that are involved okay and we are we are pressing charges on them we believe that you guys are also trolling because we've asked you guys to stop and you guys won't well, we, have to, we have to guard you that's what we're paid for that's what we get paid to do. It's like my job, you know what I mean? I gotta pay for the kids. Daniel, we have new information. We need you to see this to believe it, okay? Okay, what is it? You have you have you have thirty seconds. Well, I do will not be there thirty seconds. You need to give it time and we'll be there for show. No, I'm meeting up with Bob. I'm literally late to meet up with him. Do you have to go meet him right now? Yes. All right, all right. We'll let you go. All right, thank you. Let us know, though, if anything happens, okay? John Summit Security.
Give us one call. I will we'll look you guys call. up on Google and I will call, okay? Hire us. But until then, I you ask you guys to leave. You. you saw how good we protected yeah. you. Don't lie though. Huh? You were safe. All right, man, you were safe at all time. times. So yeah. just to let you know, Bob That's will. Thirty thousand yes. dollars gets you. That's Bob, security hold, hold on, hold on. Okay. Stop interrupting me, okay? Bob will literally call the police on you. He's a lot more strict than I am. Tell him to hire us. Oh, yeah. So he works. Really he work. actually works with the government. Doing a good work for us. So you don't know John Summit at all? No. He's in contact. Like Bob is in contact with the DA's office, the Colorado DA. So his dad? His dad? No, that is the fucking public defender's office and the puff. Shut up. Just get out of here. So yeah, those guys went out in the street and tried to like mess with Daniel. It really didn't work. It was kind of a uh, kind of cringy for being honest. But Daniel says at the very end there that he's going to meet up with Bob and that, you know, Bob will help him if these guys don't stop. And we've known before that Bob has a special place in his heart for Daniel, which may be soured after Daniel beat the shit out of him in that video. But Daniel here clearly doesn't give a shit about Bob still to this day because he looks at him as someone who can help him and only that. He doesn't think about anything like about Bob's future or anything like that. He only thinks about himself. And this this community post we're looking at right now is just you can't you can't dig up further proof on that than this because Daniel says I just called Bob demanding he pulls everything out of his retirement fund to help with this current emergency housing plan like wow <laughs> fucking wow Daniel's basically telling Bob look I don't give a shit about all the money you've saved over your life I need a place to stay I'm tired of being homeless so buy me a place and then you can figure out you know go back to work maybe Bob I know you've already retired but go the fuck back to work um, so it's it's just a really really scummy thing for Daniel to say when he first posted this I don't know why like I'm not subscribed to this Daniel Larson channel it showed up on my homepage but I was just I remember reading that and thinking that can't be Daniel and it was it's uh he's He's a piece of shit sometimes, Daniel. But yeah, these dudes followed him on the street. They were claiming to be part of some like, in well, uh, protection. I was about to say insurance company, protection company for Daniel. But Daniel wasn't having it. He wants a contract and all this stuff. Now, granted, Daniel's probably never seen a real contract for anything in his life. Only fake ones the trolls send him over. I mean, you heard him say there that in in New York he went to Sony headquarters and signed a contract, which you know, <laughs> bullshit, bullshit. Everyone knows that's not true. But Daniel thinks it's true so what do we really go with now you know you see these people two different groups of people going up to daniel on the street and messing with him did anyone else do this well yeah and it actually got a little more crazier than you've seen in these past ones because daniel was in some random coffee shop and some dude decides hey i'm gonna start filming him from outside the shop some lady walks up and asks what are you doing and the dude almost immediately goes yeah this guy's a pedophile and from there we we skip to different parts around this video different cuts where daniel is just going crazy because he's getting kicked out of these stores i'm security no, I'm serious. Why are you taking pictures of this man? Leave him alone. I'm security. He's a pedophile. How do you know that? Do you want me to show you? What? Do you want me to show you? Yeah, show me. John Summit. These are on their way. John I'm Summit. I'm going to need to ask you to. Daniel, leave. John Summit told me to ask you if you've showered any time recently. Okay, I'm going to need to ask you guys to leave. You still smell like poop. Hey, don't charge me, Daniel. So it just hit me while I was recording this that these guys are probably the same exact guys from the last video talking about John Summit and telling him that he smells and everything. I mean, we don't I don't really see them on camera here, so I don't know, but I'm just going to just going to go ahead and assume that. But I wanted to freeze it here because you see how Daniel's walking out. Well, just right next to him you can see that dude in, the, in like the little cap and the green shirt glasses on the beard you see him right there in just a few seconds that guy and daniel are going to be a lot more close and personal than you'd imagine because we don't really get to see what happens but we skip to a new a new clip where daniel is in like what looks like a furniture store or something just going fucking crazy hitting himself and yelling at people and then before we know it we go right back to that coffee shop and uh daniel's getting into a little bit of a scuffle with that guy you see in the pic there so let's go ahead and watch it 
Okay, hey, Daniel, stop. Daniel, stop. No! Daniel, just get out of the store. Come on. I'm fucking proof! We have the fucking proof. Hey! Daniel! Oh my god. Hey! You want to search? Tell him to bring it. Okay, I'm on the phone. Get out! Get out! You have the warrant for your fucking arrest. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ, there's so much happening in that clip. It's really hard to, uh, <laughs> it's hard to, it's hard to talk about this whole one. But Daniel's sitting there, like I said, beating himself up. Literally, he's acting like, like he, he's known to do this before. We've seen the hotels, motels trying to kill me video. Uh, Daniel, he's used to this. It's, it's not a healthy thing to do, but Daniel does it quite a lot, just hitting himself. And, uh, he starts screaming. You can hear he hit, he either hit or threw something else. And in the next frame, he's getting pushed out of the store by that aforementioned dude in green. Now, my favorite part of this whole video, and I assume maybe yours, is when Daniel sits there and he, and he runs up back on that dude and tries to throw a punch but stops right short. Daniel obviously wanted to get a little violent there, but he knew, like, you know, let me try to threaten this guy, and when it didn't work, and the dude literally just put his hand up to stop Daniel, Daniel grabbed his bag and hightailed it away, all the while screaming about how famous he is, and then at the end there, you might not be able to catch it, but Daniel just screams the hard R at this guy. And uh, it's one thing that many locals do when they get angry. Chris Chan's known to do. Remember Tito, you pickle suited, you know. <laughs> like, locals love to drop that word when they get angry. And Daniel is pretty goddamn angry here. So in his mind, it was time. It was time to drop that bomb. And he did. Now, <laughs> let me tell you something here. This video has been filled with people just going after Daniel in the streets. People just harassing him and messing with him. And now look, I've said it before. Does Daniel, has Daniel done a lot of bad shit in his past, the pedophilia shit, the beating up his, uh, beating up Bob Proctor? Yeah. So, you know, it's up to you to decide whether he deserves treatment like this or not. But just for your own sake, because you don't want to be like, you don't want to have a wild little Daniel Larson running up on you, trying to claw you, trying to attack you and all. Stay away from this man. Do not go out in the streets and look for him. This is, uh, he's just a, he's just a very strange individual. And, um, the last thing I'd want or any of you should want is to run into this little dude on the streets because he is just, uh, I mean, he's probably not going to do anything to you, but if you, like I said, you look at him the wrong way, maybe Daniel Larson might, uh, might jump at you like he just did with that guy. But I'm telling you, man, that punch he threw, that punch he threw. If it was any, if he threw the same punch he threw at that machine in the World Trade Center at that guy, that guy could have been pretty roughed up, but we didn't get to see that today. And, um... And yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't really know where Daniel goes from here. He's back in Denver, um, and we're just gonna have to see where his journey goes now. Daniel is not someone who I think you can do like a daily type of uh, update on because he's very, he's very sporadic in what he does. But when new stuff comes out, y'all know I got you updated here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, I want to say I apologize for the long wait, but don't worry, more videos are coming before y'all even know it. And I hope y'all stick around and enjoy them, my friends. So, with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week. And before I end the video, though, I do want to give a shout out to, as always, the Daniel Larson Curator, who's a great source of, uh, great source of Daniel clips for these type of videos. And also, I want to give a shout out to Acid Gat, who's also helped very much in making these videos with the clips they post. So, as I've said already, you got John Jam down there in the description. Now you got Daniel Larson Curator, Acid Gat. Go show these guys love their channels. You can probably... Well, I don't know if that John Jam dude like is, covers Larson often, but the other two, Daniel Larson Curator and Acid Gat, absolutely. If you guys want to follow Daniel, those are some great accounts to do it on. And other than that, y'all, um, I just like I said, I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. So I'm gonna give shouts out right now, and I want to give my shouts out to Vanessa, Scaly Schisms, Churlish, Adrian, Lara, All Right, Stingy, Randy, Leahy, Wade, Pauls, Trademark, Commander, Louie, Krabby, Justin S, the Ghostbusters fan, Steve from Machete Squad, Vaga, Count Drugula, SK Rux, Bullet BP, Synthesis, Fat Potato, Dan Dan Noodles, Emery, ATK Cast, Jason Breen, Philly B, Based Trucker, Robot Gorilla Man, Soda Joe, Seal Currently, Eric. Strada, Everborn, Jurassic Clark, Akita's Beat Fan, Cowboy Pete, Hillbilly Wizard, Sora Trash, Hurricane Salem, Prideful Jester, Cyanide Candy, Smokey's Dealer, Kiwi Bros, Griffin Shivo, Austin Vidal, 
Club Doom, Sarah's Van, Gryphon, J, Avarice, Tilted J, Costize, Zangetsu Black, J, Sorensen, Brady Gravy, GP Does, Super Comet, Jizzler, Greg the Rich, TJ, Trap Lordius, Grizzly Slug, Bob Skywalker, Just a Normal Bottle of Mustard, Ignatius Bartleby, Arlington, Brazilian Dude, Snowshoes, Jelly, Black Meddler, Radon, MXAX, Isaiah, Dalton, Sky Fitzpatrick, Quantum Cat, Ronnie Willis, Grizzly Bear, Pubsy, Soul Reaper, Matt C, Manny, Boston Meathorn, Sergeant Retro, The Red Scum, Barfunkle Shag, Nasty, Pebra, Night Scraper, August Varney, Azrael St. Cloud, Nabarius, Cobra's Manky Tooth, Canadian Funkle, Skyler, Irma, Sleepy Sloth, Crushed Shadow, Viet Bong Vet, Logan Cole, Ja, The Mean Man, Dan, Hot Towered, Coffee Moose, Dope and Smoke, What, Zuzu, Brandon, Kerma, Turd Burglar, Marshall Rogers, Minty Smith, Mr. Smith from LCA, Nunya Business, Pun Pun, Unicorn is God, Bro Follow, Sloth Thing, Danny the Foot, Blue Sapphire, Proto Shock, Spiral Colors, Jammer X, Pastor Arthur Montgomery, Brutal Strudel, Dirty J, TNUC, TAF, Ian Corrado, Sword Brother, Brock Lobster, Nomags, Guru Guru, Pineapple Pussé, Nate F, Larry Fishmas, Mr. Muda, Patat, Mrs. Starscream, Empty Bat, Mary Mattingly, Doc703, Josh Dayton, Based Milf Slayer, The Locale Lounge, GH Champ, Bizarre Showcase, Rexo, Neat Life, LEP97, 100 Norwals, Hoodie Bra, Sludge Maniac, Night Shroud, Operator 5781, Bobby Queso, King of Town, Cappy Baraman, Dan Wolf, Draco the Golden, JB, Blackwing Gaming, Tiki's General Store, AB, Jeff Weber, Cherry, Joey Huey, Coombender, Visual Vintage, Holly and Hell, Try Give Black Tiger, Alex Esco, Blueberry, Psycho, Sydney Jones, LB, Benjamin, Vault, Kairos, Big Jim, David June, Sparks Epsilon, Toxic Avenger, Dominic, Jamie Rose, Logan Whatnot, Sneak Z's, Extra Zero, Clyde Cash, Cash's Cash Stash, Mr. Krabs, Rowdy Oni, Drunk Serval, Peace, Lieutenant Black Butter, Ziamara Moo, Cromlock, Guru, Victor D, Sebastian, Maxin at the Fort, I Eat Bugs and Plants, Dane Justice, For Real, Anti CK, Trash Boat, That One, Stacy Newbie, DJ Cannon, Big Bed, Gruff, Toxic T, Sadie T, Bob Bob Bob, Meat Man, Shannon Rose, Dead Barbarian, Vish K, Kanka the Great, Depraved Grapes, A Random Storm Cloak, Wet Floor Coney, Reb Zoomer, Hot Wheels, Dylan W, Thunder Bays, Hunter Cobb, Tolly, Nico Bellin, Spooky, Dougal Johnson, Buttworm Wilkins, <laughs> Chrissia Guibelt, I'm sorry for butchering that one, Quinn Quimson, Cowboy Woozy, Windigo, Billy Bones, Ben Carson 2024, Hyena Man, Your Wife's Boyfriend, Tony Tokyo, Marissa, Peanut Mama, Antrust, CHX Carnage, Anton Levy, Rex One Kittles, Chat Creeper, Mr. Jinx, Tardis, Full Thickness, Hat Shoop, Bimp Liskit, John Smithy, Cod Rankwin, Alex, BTF Nation, Shoop to Hoop, Chris Chan's Phantom Bottle Collection, Alexander, It's Sub, Old Man Bradley, Kira, The Mothman, Shekel, The Ghostbusters Fan, Nocturne, Kiwi Bay, Mint, Crafts and Cartoon, Corey Trevor, Calzone, Portuguese Horse, Weeaboo, Funky Weapon, Mage Hand, Slap Fight, Andrew Guest, Weedabix, Chewy, Linguini God, Brandon Williford, Super Comet Jizzler, Hunter B, Zeepo, Dingbat, Raven, Horsepower Hour, Timbang, Metal Wolf, Irma, Coggles, Tequila Johnson, Young Voodoo, Ya Boy B Rob, Ephraim B, Crazy Kids, Laura Smith, Sharp Metal Edge, Sleepy Sloth, Project Spiral, Legendary Duelist, Vix the Pumpkin, Naz, WTF Wolf, Moo the Mogul, Kate, Mr. Spaghetti, Man Beast, Ja, Logan Cole, Some Frenchy, Shaggy Mane, Raided, Turtle Platoon, Alpha T, Plague, River Ranger, Frederick, B Vinoich, Nappy Toast, The Black Bowser, Laura Fierce, JB Films, Ryan L, Avery the Wanderer, Shiloh, Robbie Mitchell, Part in the Dust, Cario, Barbara Barbussy, Corrected Carlos, Was Dead, Alt Text Wolf, Burger Kerber, Your Psycho Ex Girlfriend, Jackal, Kite O Mondrian, Bright Galaxy, Rodango, Artie Garcia, Jessica G, Bako, What, Wumpa, Brandon, Bard, Sinewave, The Zodiac, Sarah, Cow Wrangler, Conrad, Was Good, Ryan Tanner, Felix Fox, Deus Volter, Seraplex, Clear G, T George, Big Burr, Fluffy, Soul Reaper, Hod Towered, Manny T, Makachi, Danny the Foot, and Let a Bitch Live. I also want to say thank you to anyone who got to the end of this video. I know it's not like that long for my channel standards, but still, it's, it's, it's you know, 35 minutes is 35 minutes. So I, I want to say also thank you to everyone who's ever left a comment, anyone who's ever left a funny-ass, insightful-ass comment, which is many of you guys. Um, I just love knowing that you guys are enjoying these videos, you know. I said it from day one, and I'll say it to the end of time. If only, if only, if it's just one of you getting enjoyment out of this and helping you get through your day at work and all that shit, then... I'm I'm just happy. I'm happy that I'm able to do that for you, and I'm happy that you guys are having a good time watching these. So, my friends, I guess really the only other thing I got to say is we're we're about to kick off the summer. Local summer is nearly upon us. It's going to be a good one this year, and I hope you guys have a lot of time where you can chill with your friends, your family, whoever, and have a good ass summer. Cause it's going to be a good one for all of us. So, I guess until I see you on the next one, take care and be safe, my friends.